Hello YouTube, this is Moniker127. Today I am doing a video that will be the first part in a series about electricity. And today we'll be discussing uh, Ohm's laws, which are the electrical laws that govern amperage, voltage, and resistance. So, you've heard of voltage before, and you've heard of all these other measurements, I'm sure. Um, like, say, you know that all car batteries are 12 volts. What is a volt? Well, a volt is a measurement of pressure. And like all other forms of pressure, it arises when there are more things in one area than in another. So say that on the left here we've got in this circle a certain number of electrons and I'm trying to find my spray brush here. Here we go. So we've got a certain number of electrons here and over here we have only just a few. So there are more electrons on this side and there are fewer on this side which means that this side on the left here is negatively charged. And the right side here is positively charged. So, this is what voltage is. Voltage is when there are more electrons in one area than another. So, say this amount of electrons wants to get over this away because, like with all forms of pressure, things just kind of want to spread out and be all even and happy and la di da. So, these electrons over here, they want to get over this away. And the force that they're going to exert trying to do that is measured in volts. So the harder they work, the more voltage. And the more voltage, the more possibility that it'll actually um, kind of stream over and get to the square. And, you know, do their electron parties or whatever the hell they like to do. So, we measure this in volts, this actual force of attraction, and now let me find my arrow. Voltage. That's how hard the electrons want to get from one area that has too many or too few electrons. So you can measure it either way. So. Voltage is always between two different points. Like, you can't just take a magnifying glass of science and point it at the circle here and say that circle is 12 volts. Because it's not. All voltage measurements are relative to something else. So, with a car battery, the 12 volts is from one terminal to another. That's why you have the positive terminal and the negative terminal. The negative terminal has too many electrons. Positive terminal has too few. And it's set up in a way that the positive terminal and the negative terminal have just about 12 volts of force in between them. So that's 12 volts. And as usual, my drawings are, you know, pretty crappy, but I'm sure you get the idea. So yeah, that's voltage, electrical pressure. Good stuff.